Hello and welcome to another session on uh, problem solving related to factor theorem. In this question, it's given that if a y cube plus b y square plus y minus six has y plus two as a factor, so y plus two is a factor of this given polynomial in y, and leaves the remainder four when divided by y minus two. Find the value of a and b. This is the question. Now this is a mix of both remainder as well as factor theorem. It seems both the theorems are going to be utilized over here. So let's utilize the knowledge of our factor theorem and remainder theorem to solve this question. Now, so let us say f y, right? It is a polynomial in y. So let's say f y is a y cube plus b y square. Plus y minus six, right? This is the polynomial in y. Now, given that y plus two is a factor of f y, and then hence, what do we know then? F of minus two must be zero. If you recall, what was factor theorem? Let me. Write it here, right? So if f x or rather the factor theorem suggested said that if if a x plus b is a factor of f x, then what do we what did we have? Then f of minus b upon a is zero, right? If you compare in this case, a x plus b is y plus two, right? Here clearly, the and now don't get confused between this a here, this a, this b, is different from this a and b, right? So this is a general generic term a x plus b. In this question, we are supposed to find this a and this b. So don't get confused. Okay, so general a x plus b. If it is a factor of f x, then f of minus b by a is zero. In this case, our a x plus b is y plus two. Only the variable x is replaced by y. Value of a that is coefficient of the variable is one, and the constant term is two. So hence, minus b by a is minus two. Correct. So hence, if you see here, I am using f of minus two is zero. So let's deploy a f minus two. So a times minus two. So wherever you see y, write minus two. Correct. This is what is meant by value of the polynomial at y is equal to two, or minus two rather in this case, minus two, minus six. This must be zero, isn't it? So let's solve. Minus two cube is minus eight. So minus eight a, minus two square is plus four b, and then minus two minus six is minus eight is equal to zero. Is it so? You got the first equation. You can always simplify it, and this will be. You can take away four from the, or minus four rather. So if you divide this entire equation by minus four, what will you get? You will get two a minus b plus two is zero. Right. So this is equation number one. Then by the second condition, what is the second condition that it leaves? Remainder four when divided by y minus two, so then y remainder theorem by remainder theorem, you know that if f x is divided by a x plus b, then f of minus b by a is the remainder. So in this case, f of two will be equal to four, isn't it? Right? What is the remainder theorem, guys? The remainder theorem says if f x is divided by any linear expression a x plus b, a x plus b, then remainder is simply f of minus b y a. Right? Remainder is equal to minus b y a. Right in factor theorem, this same remainder becomes zero. Now remainder is given to be equal to four, so f of two must be four. So f of two, let's kind of let's find out f of two. So by remainder theorem, we'll get f two is equal to four. 
So a two cube plus b two square plus two minus six must be must be equal to four. So eight a plus four b minus four is equal to four after simplification and dividing the entire equation by four, you'll get this much. Simplifying, you can say this is two a plus b is equal to two. This is equation number two, or you can write two a plus b minus two is equal to zero. This is equation number two. Now let's rewrite both the equations together. So we get two a minus b plus two is equal to zero, and we get two a plus b minus two is equal to zero, guys. Okay, so you'll get this is two. Now if we add both these equations, that is, I am doing one plus two. That means LHS of one plus RHS of one is equal to sorry LHS of one plus LHS of two. Will be equal to RHS of one plus RHS of two. So let's add them together. What will you get? Two a plus two a will get you four a minus b plus b is zero. Plus two minus two is again zero, and this entire thing is zero. That means a has to be zero. So we get a zero. So if a zero, we can deploy in any of these equations. So in the first equation, if you see from one minus b plus 2 will be 0 because a was 0 so hence b is equal to 2 okay so we could find out the value of a and value of 2 what did we apply or what was the underlying concept first we applied factor theorem found out one equation then applied remainder theorem found out the second equation solved the two equations in linear equations and we got the value of a and b so while solving this linear equation please remember how to solve this is you know adding and substitution uh, adding and subtracting may help there is another way of solving linear equations in two variables called the substitution method which you can have a look on our course on linear equations in two variables